When I was 18, my dad passed away unexpectedly, leaving my family with a lot of stress, pain, and sacrifice due to a poorly written life insurance plan. Today, we're gonna to discuss the four mistakes my dad's agent made when coming up with his life insurance plan and how you can avoid them. When calculating your life insurance needs, there's four things you should consider. Payment of debt, replacement of income, cash flow, and education for your kids. In my dad's case, his agent considered payment of debt for the family, but he didn't consider replacement of the income. This forced my mom to go back to work just months after he passed away, and it forced me to get a job because we had to fill that financial gap that his agent didn't consider. So what should have happened? Bottom line is, my dad's agent should have taken into consideration his income. If that was the case, then he would have insured my dad's income until retirement age. And that's another 20 years or so. That may sound like a lot of money, but in the life insurance world, it's really not. Here's the big takeaway. Life insurance is designed to give you and your family options. Options like staying in the house you're currently in or selling it. Options like going back to work or staying home with the kids. Options like your kids going to an Ivy League school, or if they want to, they can go to trade school or start a business with that cash. The important thing is that when having a conversation with your agent, you're taking all four factors into consideration to give your family options. The second mistake my dad's agent made was giving him a temporary solution to a permanent problem. At age 47, my dad bought a 10-year term policy. 10 years later, he still has a need for insurance. God forbid he lived another 10 years, what would he and my mom have done? Purchased another policy? Will the premiums go through the roof 10 years later? What if he had got some type of health issue that made him uninsurable? This kind of risk, and frankly carelessness, doesn't fly with me and my clients. So what should have happened? My dad's agent could have avoided this risk by having my dad consider purchasing a whole life policy. The truth is, any term policy has an expiration date. So why try reinventing the wheel when you're older and premiums are much higher? Worst case scenario with the whole life policy, you leave a tax-free inheritance onto your family. The third mistake my dad's agent made was he didn't insure my mom. Let's turn the tables for a second. What if my mom had passed away and not my dad? Sure, we still would have had his income, but he wouldn't have been able to work as much overtime as the year before, so his income would have gone down. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't remember him doing a load of laundry. So he would have been taking on all these new tasks during a season of intense mourning and grief. So what should have happened? When it comes to replacing your spouse's income or household duties, the sad truth is most men aren't worried about it. They think they're tough enough and they can handle it. It's important to consider replacing not just your spouse's income, but also the household duties that they help with. Again, life insurance is about giving your family options, like the option to pay for daycare, family counseling, and other household expenses. The fourth mistake my dad's agent made is he should have had the conversation 20 years earlier. The question that keeps coming back to me, and frankly, it's the question that got me in this business in the first place is, why didn't a life insurance agent show up in his world any earlier? If it weren't for my mom's insistence on him purchasing a policy, I don't know if he would have had life insurance. I can't help but wonder how things would have turned out differently if my dad had just been informed. So what should have happened? My dad should have watched a video like the one you're watching now and had a life insurance agent encourage him to buy a policy and protect his family. And here's why. The statistics are clear. 10 out of 10 people die. The problem is you don't know if it's gonna to be today or 30 years from now. You made a vow to love your family and part of that vow is making informed choices. So my advice, listen to that life insurance agent in your life. I promise he has the best of intentions because we realize only you can love your family like you and only life insurance allows you to do that even after you're gone. Those were the four biggest mistakes my dad's life insurance agent made. If you have questions about life insurance or just wanna sit down and review your current coverage, send me a Facebook message and let's have that conversation together.